I'm here today really to speak more as a parent um, and an advocate, a child advocate, than I am anything else. Um, I have worked with young people and high-risk young people for the last 37 years of my life. And uh, I, I know um, that Jefferson County Public Schools offers a wonderful education. It did for me, it did for my two biological children. But my adopted child, um, who happens to be African American, did not fare the same way. He did not fare the same way. He, I entered him in Jefferson County Public Schools three times, attempting to get um, <coughs> what I considered a fair and just education of my child. My choice, and I did have a choice, and thank God I had a choice, but my choice was to remove him from that school district and put him in private school and keep him there until he graduated. When he was nine, the school district told me that he had an IQ of about 100 or so. Uh, my son just took his ACT, of which he got a high score of 36. He had a 33 in science and a 29 overall. Uh, he didn't have a 100 um, IQ. Uh, what we had, in my opinion, was a system that could not teach my child. So um, he's in college now, and I'm proud of that, excited about that. But the other part of the story is, every single day of my life, I walk into a program where there are 35 to 40 young people, 90% of whom over the last 15 years have been African American, 65% are young men, and um, they did not have the same choice that I had for my son. They have not had the same choice in their lives um, through their behavior, their immaturity sometimes, uh, through poverty at times, and many times um, because there wasn't someone who knew how to advocate for them as I did for my own child. What I'm asking is that you give strong consideration this year to the opportunity for young people and their parents to have choices. That you allow choices for all young people, not just people of middle class and upper middle class who can afford and will try hard to move their children to choices that make sense for their children but to give everybody in our district, everybody, everybody was common. Um, and, you know, I see young people in Hazard, young people in Moorhead, young people in Covington, in youth build programs, who are in the same situation as my young people. And those folks need the choice as well. The money needs to follow children. We just give it for the children. We don't give it for the district to give it to the children and it needs to follow them so that they can be successful in their education and move on to post-secondary education in the future that is bright. 